As you know, Muslims are always attacking us and our holy Bible, claiming that we Christians worship a man. Yet when we open their books, we find the shocking fact that Allah himself is a young man. Wow! Allah being a young man? Yes, that's right. I'm going to prove it from the most authentic Islamic books. So after watching this video, you will see the hypocrisy of Muslims because none of them read their own books because their claims and attacks will now backfire. Please watch this video until the end because we are going to cause a lot of emotional damage today and refute any so-called refutation done by Muslims. I will include the references and books mentioned in this video for you. You'll find all the information you need in the description box. If we go to the following Sahih Hadith, we see that the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad himself saying, I saw my Lord in the image of a young man with curly hair wearing a green suit. Wait, Allah is a young man? Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam being an eyewitness, confirming that Allah is a young boy? Now some Muslims tried their best to refute this Sahih Hadith and said, no, no, the hadith is da'if because Aisha said that Muhammad did not see his Lord. Wait, is this true? Did Aisha even hear it directly from Muhammad or did she not hear it but simply gave her own personal false interpretation for the story without even hearing it from the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad? Let us do some investigation together and see if Aisha was wrong, here is Sahih Muslim, Bisharh Imam al Nawawi, Volume 3, pages 4 and 5. The million dollar question is Did Muhammad, did the Prophet of Islam see his Lord with his own eyes in the night of Al Isra? Ibn Abbas was asked if Muhammad saw Allah. Ibn Abbas then replied, saying, Yes. And this is narrated through a strong chain of narration from Shu'ba, from Qatada, and then from Anas. Muhammad saw his Lord and Al-Hassan swore that the Prophet saw his Lord. And this fact does not fall under the hadith of Aisha because she did not report that she heard it from the Prophet saying, I did not see my Lord. But what Aisha mentioned is her own false interpretation of the verse which we can find in chapter 42 ayah 51 it is not given to any human being that allah should speak to him except through revelation or from behind a veil or that a messenger to the rest of the ayah so we can conclude that ibn abbas is correct he did hear it directly from Muhammad, but on the other hand, Aisha is wrong because she gave her own false interpretation without hearing it directly from Muhammad. Thank you for watching. Please share this video all over social media and God bless.